How long will it take to reach level 4000 in King Legacy as a free to play? Today, I'm starting from level 0. For free to play, without a private server, and without anyone's help, I will try to hit level 4000 first. Let's gather the information needed to level up. I have information collected from two years ago, but I expect a lot has changed. About two hours to find the optimal level up route. The spawn time of all monsters in King Legacy and Quest EXP must learn skills. I've tested all the information again. Nothing, Nothing has, has changed. changed. I feel regret about not leveling up during the past two hours. But there were gains. In the past, the boss's respawn time was different. So a tailored strategy was necessary. Now their respawn times are all 10 seconds as if they're doppelgangers. And a battle pass and daily quest have been newly introduced. Daily quest can only be done once a day. But it gives you an explosion of EXP. If this is utilized well, I may be able to zoom past the boring initial points. Now, to start at level 0 in King Legacy, the golden rule of free to play. We will start with using codes. There's a total of 8 codes available right now. I'll use the 6 codes that give money and gems right now. I'll use these two in the future where they'll really come in handy. The first goal is to eat the devil fruit. This game is a one piece game. Without the power of the devil fruit, I would turn into a nationwide loser. To get the devil fruit I have to reach level 100 and I must do the devil fruit gacha. So let's quickly level up to 100. I'll use the code that doubles EXP that I saved. And I'll do the 3 daily quests on the starter island. If I complete 3 daily quests in a state where your EXP are doubled, I will be able to make some insane level up. I have immediately reached level 81. Daily quests also give battle pass EXP. As a result, I reached battle pass level 2 and received the reward of $100,000 and 20 gems. The $300,000 and 80 gems earned through code and battle pass will be a big help nice. to I'm free to play like me. After about 8 minutes since I started the game, I achieved 81% of the first gold. I'm so happy about the fast pace. If everything went according to plan, I would defeat the buggy on Pirate Island and reach level 100. But in case the fruit only gives crap, I'll prepare myself to give up being devil fruit user and become a swordsman. I will defeat Smokey on the starter island and get a jitter. Since I can get a jitter with a 20% chance, it won't take much time. I'll buy a sword to use for a while, and I'll immediately defeat Smokey. Oh no, despite defeating 22 Smokey, I wasn't able to get a jitter. What? In this unbelievable situation, I made a mistake of wasting 6 minutes of doubled EXP time. Quickly getting it together and moving to Pirate Island. I will defeat a buggy and reach level 100. I finally reached level 100. Now I will do the Devil Fruit Gacha and become the Devil Fruit user. The goal is to get epic grade Logia fruits. If we don't get good fruits here, we will face the terrible wrath of the time it takes to get to level 4000 doubling. I will try to pick the fruit. I got the Mera Fruit. The Mera Fruit has a wide attack range and good damage. So it's one of the best fruits for leveling up. Now, I will reset the stats for my fruit and use my last save code to distribute defense and power fruit stats. Now that I have become the devil fruit user, I'll really get into leveling up. Since King Legacy usually allows you to level up with EXP from completing quests, it's most efficient to level up by defeating the boss quests on each island. While defeating Buggy on Pirate Island, I level up to 126. I'll move to the Soldier Island. During my enjoyable level up, a bounty hunter has appeared. This, this is an is open, open server, server, a place a bustling, bustling with scary, with scary opponents, opponents searching, searching for bounty. For bounty. A weak baby like me can die with one hit. <laughs> yes, that's right, I was actually hiding my power. I'm invincible. Invincible, invincible for 20, 20 minutes, minutes because, because I already, I already died. died. I've reached level 200. Now, let's head to Shark Island and hit level 300. I rip off the jaw of Morgan on Soldier Island and steal our long sword in Shark Island. I've completed the yeah, I'm a, I'm newbie, a newbie look. look. I finally gathered $500,000. 
If it weren't for the $300,000 that I earned thanks to the code and battle pass, it's an amount that's impossible to collect since I've collected money. I learned to armament hockey right away. It took a long time to get to Bubble Island and learn the armament hockey. But Bubble Island is an 1100 level hunting ground. And I'm still a noob so I can't hunt. Wait, wait, now, now I, can, I can, hunt. can hunt. I hit level 451 at Chef Ship Island. And level 525 at Snow Island. Leveled up to 850 in Sand Kingdom. And all the way to 1101 on Sky Island I've even learned about the observation hockey. In 3 hours and 32 minutes since I've started the challenge, I've achieved 27.5% of my challenge goal. It's slowly becoming the beginning of the end site. There's, There's still a lot, a lot left. left. While leveling up on Bubble Island, I'm starting to get tired after hunting for 4 hours. So I contemplated, is there any way I can level up with less effort? No, if I don't make purchases or get help from other users, this is the standard route. So I tried to think differently. If I can not reduce the time it takes to level up, I'll speed up my time and reduce the feeling of hardship. That method is Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2. <laughs> Yes, I started watching anime. My hands are hunting, but my eyes will watch Jujutsu Kaisen. Since it's fun to watch, I'll lose track of time. And as I continue, and I'll reach level 4000 in no time, I'm mustering up the strength to level up again. But I find myself alone. This isn't a private server. It's a server filled with many players. But it became a private server after playing for 4 hours. With no need to worry about bounty hunters anymore. I'll level up. Level 1250 reached on Bubble Island. Level 1600 reached in Lobby Island. Level 1800 reached on Zombie Island. Level 2051 reached in War Island. In 7 hours and 33 minutes after starting the challenge. Using the Vicento urn after defeating Whitebeard. It feels like I've become quite the master. As I move on to Fishman Island. And hit level 2400. I will finish the first C and move on to the second C. Wait, before I start hunting, there's a problem. At the point of reaching level 1390, my fruit stats are already maxed out. I can't get any stronger. The Mera fruit combo was enough to get me this far. But it won't be enough for future monsters. For a smooth hunt, I need to use a mix swords or fighting styles in combos now. Instead of using swords that's only effective if I get good items, I chose fighting styles that required only learning. And I can learn some in the first seat. I chose the Fishman Karate with a lot of long range skills. I chose it after a lot of thought. That's, That's a lie. I just, I just chose, chose it because, because I, can I can learn, learn it, it on Fishman Fish Island. Island. Anyway, now the long range attack has C, Z, V from the Mara Fruit and Z, X, V added from the Fishman Karate. I can now use six skills into one combo. Now you can no longer stop me. I've now reached level 2250. Now when I get the map item from Fishman Island, I can go to the second C. Whoa, I got it right away, but I'm not going to go straight to the second C. The second C is full of powerful pirates, so I'll go after I become as strong as possible. It's been 8 hours and 39 minutes since I've started the challenge. I've reached level 2400 and finished the first C. It may seem like only 1600 levels are left, but the monsters in the second C have much more health. So the remaining 1600 levels, man, they're going, they're going to, be to be really, really exhausting. exhausting. I've arrived in the second C without delay. Even though I've mastered the first C, I've become a newbie again. Numerous pirate seniors won't leave the weak prey that I am alone. Here's my level up plan. While roaming around Odin which is the starter island and reaching level 3125, I'll hit level 3225 at the dead tundra, level 3425 at Lope Island, level 3525 at Pirate Skull Island, level 3725 at Soldier Headquarter, and finally, go to Fiori and become OP, let's start hunting at Odin where I will stay the longest. <sighs> Hydra has appeared. I've always summoned it by purchasing it, but this is my first free Hydra. Just leveling up might be better than defeating Hydra, but if I get a valuable item from Hydra, I'll be able to exchange it for a good fruit. It's too early to feel defeated. During the Hydra hunt, Miss Mother has appeared. If the Phoenix Blade comes out by any chance, you can abandon the Fishman Karate and completely switch to the sword. It's too early to feel defeated. While fighting Miss Mother, a ghost ship appeared. If I happen to get a good item, 
I stand no chance. While hunting, someone suddenly speaks to me. I exchanged unnecessary feathers and got a rumble fruit. With the 4.72 update, the rumble fruit has been significantly enhanced. Now that I'm confident with my newly earned fruit, I'll try it out with high expectations. As my long range skills have increased, I have definitely become stronger. The combined damage from the four skills is 49,505. In exchange for losing the Mera Fruit's transportation, I've only gotten stronger by 3,064, with the melee stats raised to 3,546. If I use it in a combo with the Rumble Fruit, it raises to 69,772, with an ever so slightly raised damage. I'll level up faster. It has been 12 hours and 26 minutes since I've started the max level challenge. Finally, I've broken through the level 3000 wall. If I reach level 3125 here, I can escape from the tiresome Odin Island. Please stop. A bounty hunter has appeared again. I've edited them all out, but I've been harassed by so many bounty hunters. I hoped it to be a smooth sailing, but now they've shown up again. Hey. This is a safe zone. You're laughing. I was slightly offended, but the challenge time only gets longer with an unnecessary fight. I'm going to try to coax him. With my charming skills, I requested an alliance, and he accepted it. Now, as I try to level up again, he's broken the alliance and attacks. Since it's come to this, forget leveling up. I'm going to kill him. Man, this might be tough with so little armament hockey. Okay, I've removed all the armament hockey. Okay, if you lose to me, you should be ashamed of yourself. My HP is 19,600. Yeah, no. hey. In 12 hours, I've gotten revenge on the bounty hunter. It feels like all the anger penned up for 12 hours has all washed away. This is natural caffeine. Now for the remaining 1000 levels, I'll quickly take them on. Achieve level 3125 on Odin Island. Achieve level 3225 on Dead Tundra. Achieve level 3425 on Loaf Island. Achieve level 3525 on Pirate Skull Island. Achieve level 3726 on Soldier Headquarter. It has been 18 hours 47 minutes since I started the challenge. It feels like I'm stuck in level up in prison, but the end is really near. Now I'm moving to the last hunting ground, Fury, and I'll hit the max level. Let's go. Now, the hitting max level in King Legacy as I'm free to play. Challenge is over. The time it took. Total, 20 hours, 44 minutes and 29 seconds. If I had made purchases and gotten the help of my friends, the challenge would have only taken a few hours. But I tried it out questioning, how long would it take as an free to play? Free to play users, you guys are incredible, mad respect. Watching everything I've done, there's no way you won't subscribe me, right? See you in the next video, bye.